Hey, it's Charlie again, and I did a really cool thing, I think, by shrinking down my pedal board into two separate boards. This board here is basically the uh, Gig Rig Pro 14 MIDI, and it has a lot of the, uh, basically, the effects loops that I run. Over here on this board is the, uh, oh, by, by the way, this uh, is on a Pedal Train, I don't know, Pedal Train Pro. It's like a 32 by 16, and this is a Pedal Train Junior, which is like, I don't know, 12 by 17. So um, you'll notice I have some blue George L caps. there and on the end here and also at the end of the uh, volume pedal they're just so I know which cable is the send but the cool thing is because of the modular power system from uh, gig rig this board here is powered by this board by one cable, which is pretty sweet. So all the stuff that is outside of the effects loop chain is on the Junior, and I'll walk you through that real quick. I'm playing a 91 Strat through a Port City Pearl with a regular 212 uh, Waves cabinet, and uh, the pickups are a Lindy Fralin uh, Vintage Hots with an unbucker. This is a bypass, so... <laughs> That's bypass. So then the EP boost, I love it. It's kind of always on. Here's it. Here it is without it. Back with it on. And then I got this cool little thing called a little dipper, which is basically based off a of vocal formant filter. So. That's kind of cool. And then I have this Snow White, which is over here. That's the uh, Matt Professor Ottawa, which is kind of cool. And then the, uh, the Lucy box there, that's uh, simply just a direct box. Then I've got the Boudoir, and then the volume pedal. Now, the cool part is the Pro 15 for the first or, or the um, Pro 14 for the first time I'm actually using the timeline with MIDI so I've got it set up the way I use it which is basically as I change a channel here the uh, timeline over here changes which patch I want and so I have the bottom rail set up as um, I have the bottom rail set up as presets and I have the top rail set up as single effects that I can then drop in. So if I'm playing clean here, and it's a... And I want to add a chorus. Let's say I want to add um, the... Uh, well, if I, want, if I want to take something out, or take them all out, no matter how many I've got lined up here, no matter how many effects I have turned on, as soon as I come back, to the next patch or back to the same patch they all go away. The cool part is I've got these three up here set up as a um, for just for the timeline. So if I'm here on clean and I want to add a triplet delay, this changes the the timeline and brings in That's cool. If I want to clear that, I go back to my bank. If I want to go over to like a quarter note delay, clear that, bring up the next delay.
that's kind of cool. So I've got clean set up here, which is just... And as you can see, that uses the volume, the Gaudi, which is in the Red Lucy box. I think that's the last uh, Gaudi delay. But uh, Russell's a great dude, and if you can convince him to build your pedal, it's totally worth it. And then that's the T-Rex reverb. So that's clean. And then I have wet, which brings in basically the clean sound, adding the wet reverb. crunch which is just a little bit of grit from the Rittmeyer 808 up there and uh, that's the silver box on the top row there and that sounds uh, like this <laughs> Some of the uh, some of the wetter sounds that I want in a gritty sound, I just build a patch that adds the uh, Strymon in and uh, also uh, brings it in on the patch in the time that I want. So. Got to have a Gaudi uh, G drive, which I love. I think personally it sounds best in bridge pickup position, but uh, here it is, second position. So. <laughs> now in bridge position, it's a little brittle, so we'll roll off. <laughs> kicks over to the Sorensen, brings in a different type of uh, delay, and this gets nasty. And then I have the texture one, which brings in the chorus, the volume pedal's always in the loop, brings in the wet, the Gaudi uh, analog delay, the Strymon, and the T-Rex. The wet uh, from Noonan Bar Technology is pre-delay uh, and verb, which kind of gives it a different effect, but basically sounds like this. for me especially with uh, in say a, a worship set where you you're playing maybe four or five songs you need to be able to switch through a bunch of stuff right on the fly it's great because I can basically um, set up my clean tone and just play
that's it.